quizzical bards and bardettes, welcome back to I Cast Vicious Mockery. I'm Austin. I'm Matt. And we have a returning guest. You remember. It's Carly. <laughs> I think that, yeah, actually, I would, yeah. I'd have to guess at this point that most people probably do remember Carly. Yeah, I think, I think well, it's fair to say. That's true. Oh yeah, he's never been on camera before. Yeah. You guys have never not, seen not her. once in her life. Literally, the episode before we started recording the video <laughs> was the last time she was yes. on the show. Which oh, was, is that right? Like, yeah. What? Yeah. The literally, next the ep- we had video. <laughs> yeah, we had it the next episode. You're like, yeah. It's time. We have yeah. to get that one out of the way first. Though. Yep. Yeah. Sorry. There was a yeah. The camera wouldn't focus. It like it, wasn't right. a lot going on. It, yeah. Happens. But we got like a curse proof thing now. So na- now that we have a curse proof filter on the lens, mm-hmm. like because that was the problem. Carly has a curse. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Causes her not to appear on film. But we got yeah, we can afford that enchanted lens now. So like yeah. we're we're looking pretty Ma- snazzy. Making it big now. Yeah. Yeah, we're making our way. Yeah. Magic's free if you kill the right people. <laughs> <laughs> That's D&D. what I learned from Dungeons and Dragons. D and D magic <laughs> is free if you kill the right people. Yep, true that. Awesome. Uh, so, uh, Whoa. there's an ant on the table. There is an ant on the table. There's an ant on the table. There's an ant in the dice bag. Wow, that guy was that was a bold move. Yeah, pretty like it's a white table, black ant. I'm just saying, like it knows we can see it. It's gonna show up. Sorry, he's over here. Well, he's he's just so you were, you were talking about kid, kid cuisine. Have you had kid cuisine? Have uh, you had that? Um, not in a long time. Have you had the it, pleasure of ingesting it, that. It's it's been weeks. Oh, I, so you know. So. Yeah. <laughs> no, I I remember them as a as a as a kid. Mm-hmm. I did. My parents got me the kid cuisine quite often, actually. Mm-hmm. Um, mostly because my mother did not cook. And therefore, if my father was on a business trip, kid cuisine it was wants. cereal or kids cuisine <laughs> most of the time. I yeah, I I in that case, I would always opt for cereal. That's uh, what I that was my personal strategy. Oh, I preferred cereal. Yeah. In general, I don't know why the the advertising for kids cuisine got me excited for it. It was like it was like I didn't have um, what's that thing that babies don't have object permanence. <laughs> it, it was like object permanence, but like yeah. for the taste of something. Yeah, uh, it's like I didn't have that. I ate oh. it, and 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 I was like, oh, this is gross. You forget every time, right? But then it would come up again, and I would be like, oh, cool, <laughs> kids the hype cuisine again, alive. Yeah. amazing, perfect. Do you did you eat kids? Do you eat it now? I should ask. I guess no. I don't think I've ever had kids cuisine. I had the lunchables and stuff. But lunchables, no yeah. Did you no did you either. did you heat up your your Lunchables pizza? No, I didn't like the pizza kind, so I didn't get that. You didn't like the pizza kind? Yeah. Get off my show! Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like I mean, the pizza kind. Right I, I like, don't, don't, that would ruin the episode. But it would. What? Oh, I didn't like the pizza kind either. That was the good, the only... The only good kind? What else was there? There were the crackers. The crackers things. with the with the, the meats. The ham and cheese. The ham and cheese. Well, there yeah. was one that was yeah, just... Was nachos too but they were those little ones oh like, uh, little, dude uh, with, size with the cheese that's actually made out of plastic no thanks yeah and but there's salsa it was good i wasn't big on salsa I, when i was younger <laughs> i i yeah okay so there's something in like the default mexican spice blend that disagrees with me but it's, it's not bad. cilantro we've talked about it's not this, cilantro it's not oh, cilantro and it made me not even try the nacho lunchables. Wow. And you know what? I don't regret that one bit because the pizza kind's the only good kind. <laughs> you know, uh, both pizza kinds are good. The one There's with the mozzarella. Yeah. There's one with two kinds of cheese and one with one kind of cheese. Okay. Uh, there's one with and one without pepperoni, I think. Oh, pe- yeah. There's oh, it's pepperoni. There's, there's one. Yeah. The the, vegetarian. That's what it kind. is. That's what it is. It's the pepper. All right. And the one with the pepperoni was pretty good. The one without was better. All right, just to take it a step back to kids' cuisine for yeah. just a second. Sure. Okay, just a quick, just, just a, a quick, quick second, second because the thing about kids' cuisine, it, it, like it wasn't. Oh, yeah, tell me that thing about kids. Cuisine. It wasn't even about the taste because what you would get, they had like corn dogs, right? 
like Ooh, tell that, me about those corn dogs. It was, it was like a corn dog and like a side of corn and then a brownie or something like that. Oh, you're gonna okay. say a side of dog. <laughs> side, side of corn. Like it was just some side kind of dog. Like, and side. Every, every meal was a play on words. <laughs> yeah all right yeah right. i i am familiar with with the sh shape of this yes okay Keep going so so you would put it in the microwave for whatever the default time was there was also one with pudding i just remembered that that the th that the microwave time always let there were always three different things and one of them was always lukewarm one was like the right temperature and one was way too hot and there was, and that's how it was, always was. And the brownie, whichever one had a brownie in it, the brownie was scalding. Oh, yeah. okay. You could you not, kids you could this not eat. <laughs> the rumor come out? Did Carly eat <laughs> quick kids cuisine? Kids cuisine? I must she remembers the scalding like, brownie. It was so well, hot. There must, there must have, yeah, it was so it. hot, that brownie. Oh, man. I would wreck, yeah, I'd wreck my mouth every time with that kind of thing. It would just burn. i just wait. And I would just wait. I'd get in there. I was one of only two kids, so I didn't have to worry about anybody else eating my kids' cuisine. I had two older, well, younger brothers. My sister was a was a was a teenager. She didn't care about kids' cuisine. Oh, it's no. kids' cuisine. Is there is there teen cuisine? Teen cuisine. <gasps> there's lean cuisine. There's le <laughs> <laughs> there's an opening in the market. That's what I'm hearing right now. Teen Guys, cuisine. let's quit this this gig. We're gonna open a teen cuisine shop. Does it have TikTok filters in it or something? Like that's no, TikTok is for like little kids. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's like six year olds, isn't it? I don't know. Is it? <laughs> I want to say, yeah. I don't know, man. I don't have. Look, TikTok. if you're if you're if you're eleven and a half and you're still on TikTok, grow up. But you're still <laughs> get a kid job. Cuisine. You're still like, eating kid cuisine. Get a job. Get a responsible car. All right. Eleven and a half. <laughs> yeah, quit that kid stuff. Um, so what's so, to, what's the social media for uh, for teenagers then? Um, so, something I've never heard of. I bet. I bet it's something I've never heard. Well, of. they do use Snapchat, but they actually do use tic it is TikTok. Oh, okay, yeah, it, it is, is TikTok. It is TikTok. TikTok. TikTok is the entertainment one. Snapchat is the communication one. All right. I thought you were gonna say like it was like Snarfle or something. You know, Snar. Oh, dude, Snarfle. <laughs> yeah, it's a brilliant Another idea opening. though, isn't it? It's snarfle. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> No, who who keeps trying to get Instagram? Keeps trying to get like Instagram for kids going. Ooh, no. <laughs> this yeah. sounds like a bad move. Yeah. Don't. Instagram's owned by Facebook. Facebook yeah. yeah. That's actually. What to say, Facebook. Um, as is our podcast, by the way, <laughs> brought to you. Mark Zuckerberg Whoa. called me just the he other did... day. <laughs> what? <Sorry>. Hello? <laughs> what? Mark Zuckerberg? Uh, audio only listeners, that was Austin doing a bit where he held a tablet up to his ear. This actually it like did a phone. with a cellular connection. It, oh, does it really? Yeah, it did. I mean, we turned well, it off. But sure. Yeah. Do, can you talk on it like a phone like that? Probably uh, not. It was a little... No, because the speakers are on the back. Mm. Mm. So you'd have to put it on speaker. But you could... There's call like the, the call app is on it. There's someone out there who uses their tablet as a cell phone. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, it's those people. Oh, man, if you're one of these people, stop doing this. I hate seeing this out in public where people are out in public in a store or something and they've got like somebody on the phone and they're talking like this. Yeah. They're like, yeah. Oh, hey, what's up, my man? And like they've, they've got them on speakerphone. Yeah, yeah. Why? <laughs> I, I, can't, I hate that I so much. Words. Why are you... Your you're you're involving me in this conversation and i do not want to be involved well, next time matt what you do is say yeah hey what's up hey what's up start man talking you're like well dude at this at the store that i work at mm -hmm. there i can't tell you how many times i've seen somebody be on facetime with somebody you'd be like yo what you want and then they like turn the camera toward the stuff they're like which one you want the bel air you want the you want the hennessy it's like please Please, man. Just I, I always get people who why? walk around on FaceTime and like go and they just are shopping. Yeah. And they're on FaceTime the entire time and they come up to check out and they're like putting stuff up there and they're still on FaceTime. And then the person and, and then they stop talking for a second while they're like paying and everything. And the person's like, what are you doing? And they're yeah. like, 
oh, I'm at I'm at this door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like you can't tell. Yeah, you're what? on Facetime. I've seen that before too. Where they, they, they like carry stuff with it. Like, <laughs> got too many things in their hand. They're like, oh. like one <laughs> this is my favorite. My favorite. We got was... some kind of eldritch fingers. <laughs> 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 These little vines growing all over. Yeah. yeah, it's great. <laughs> my favorite was this one dude didn't didn't miss a beat. He was on the phone like the normal way. He was like, hold on, one second, man. And he puts the phone down, and you could hear the guy on the other end being like, what? Hello? <laughs> what you doing? Where you go? <laughs> like a full like 30 seconds like doing the whole exchange. <laughs> and he picks it back up and he's like, yeah, sorry about that, man. Anyway, <laughs> it didn't even ex- it didn't explain, explain it. anything. Oh, uh, it's great. It's great. That's how you know you're living your best life, as the kids say on uh, TikTok. I guess so. Anyway, what do you think about? (laughs) Sorry, what do you think about BuzzFeed? I don't think anything about BuzzFeed. Let's do the quizzes. Are you ready? Yeah, (laughs) we're gonna. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna do a little. We're gonna we decided for this episode it'd be fun if we did some quizzes because I want to. Well, I want to know more. I want to know everything about you, Matt. And just ask, man. I mean, okay. Um. All right. So for uh for. So first question. <laughs> yeah. You've fallen in love with someone who belongs to a competing tribe. Mm-hmm. Your tribal elders do not approve of this union and demand that you end all contact with your beloved. How do you respond? Do you be- begrudgingly <sighs> accept knowing that their years of wisdom trump your emotionally clouded judgment? Question their authority and present a compelling case for why your union will benefit both tribes, sneak off with your beloved and start a new life away from either tribe. You see, I wouldn't do any of these things personally. Um, Like the, 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 why are these the only three options? Come on, Buzzfeed. Yeah. Buzzfeed. You should have at least a, it's, it's D and D you have to, it has to be an open open, ended quiz. Open, open yeah. ended. I should be able to type out my answer and then you and then it should regurgitate. AI figure out. Yeah, fig- Dude, I, what, I wonder yeah. if they're working on that. That would be the I ultimate step forward in quizzes. Also the ultimate step backward in quizzes. No one would <laughs> no ever, one would do, ever that. would do that. Yeah. No one would ever do that. I'm going to say sneak off and start a new life away from the tribes. Um, and, and so Carly, the elders of the rival tribe discovered your plot. And have called for the death. Oh, our quizzes diverge. Your, oh no, they diverge. They diverge right away. Oh no, Wait, immediately based on, based on which yeah. ones you pick. So we're finding out our moral alignments right now. Okay. Um, I said the second thing. I, I question their authority. Uh, here's what's happening for me now. Okay. Uh, I. It's a separate thing now. Just it Same. moves on. All right. Because you, what's I actually what's picked what's the first one. You picked the first. Wow. Yeah, because. Okay, well, I'm you guys go over. first then, because that continues the story. I'm on, I'm on a different thing. This is wild. Mine continues the story too. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You guys oh. can go now. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, okay. So the elders of the rival tribe discovered my plot, and they've called from the death of my lover, but not me, I guess. Anyway, what do I do? Um, I could either storm their tribe, killing everything in my way to save my beloved. Okay. Uh, plot to infiltrate the village in the night and rescue them without anyone realizing. Or accept the outcome and quietly mourn the loss of your beloved. Uh, yeah, definitely not that one. Uh, no, I'd rather... Mm, no, you know, I think, like, if this was a story that I was watching, I would want them to kill everybody to save them. But I think if it was actually me, I'm going to infiltrate the village. Okay. I'm going to do it the sneaky way. That's that's how I would want to do it. What, What's going on with you? Yeah, what are you up to there? <laughs> so I picked the first one because uh-huh. I would... Probably, I always I listen to my parents before everything is done. I need to have my own <laughs> mind sometimes. But it said, so then the next question is, your beloved cannot accept your separation and sneaks into your village at night begging Hot. you to run away with them. How do you respond? Mm-hmm. Pack up your few possessions and run away with them. Regretfully send them away, saying that you know you'll find one another again in your next life. This is lame. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Turn them in for defying the authority of the tribal elders. There you go. I don't, I wouldn't probably. That's terrible. <laughs> I just sent them away. So I'd have to probably leave because they came back. They're trying pretty hard. I'd leave. 
Okay. Run. Okay. Running away. Running yeah. away. Um, all right. Now we're all on the same thing. We are? Yeah. I th- or at least, oh, I don't yeah. know, Matt. Are you on the beggar? Oh, uh, yeah. All yeah. Right. You witness what appears to be a wealthy man shouting at and kicking a beggar. Is that like a fancy bagel? Um, satisfied with the damage he's inflicted, the wealthy man walks away from the beggar. What do you do? Uh, nothing. It's not your problem. Run to the beggar to make sure he's not seriously injured. Tackle the wealthy man and beat him without mercy. All right. It's Good obvious times. which one this one is. Well, in faced with situations like this, I always ask myself, what would Jimmy Buffett do? WWUID. What would Uncle Iroh do? Ah. Uh, yeah. Wow. But I don't think he would do it. Any of these things, really? No. Well, he might do. He the might do one. the first one, or this, or maybe the, the second first one. or second one. Yeah, yeah I, I would say. Um, but this time, in, actually, you know what? Yeah, instead of being idealistic, I'm going to say what I would actually do, which is nothing. I would do nothing. You wouldn't. I wouldn't. You wouldn't go help a poor person. Probably not. Wrecked. No. I would. <laughs> so. The beggar seems fine and thanks you for your assistance. Mm -hmm. That's what I've got. After Mm -hmm. walking away, you discover that your coin purse is missing and the beggar has fled. What do you do now? Uh, Um, (laughs) You you can attempt to track the thief down and beat him until he returns what's yours. Report the beggar to the authorities or catch up with the wealthy man and ask for more information about the thief. I was initially thinking none of these, but actually because I'm pretty sure he's in on it. The third one. You think like, the, I think it was a scam. Uh, oh, like a like the, yeah. like an elaborate thing that they that's, staged. That's thought, why. That's why it. after being beaten mercilessly, he seems fine, uh, and then he just goes off on his own. The wealthy person's in on it. I'm gonna track them down. They're probably easier to track. Yeah, well, they're probably in their current well-known, state. Well-known yeah, well-known person. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Good point. Yep, that'd be fun. It says ask for more information about the thief. That's probably how I'd start it. But who knows? Who knows where we go to from there? (laughs) You see, that's why. And you know what? Actually, that's why I would ignore it, because. I I do not know the context of why all of this stuff is happening. Yeah. And I feel like I wouldn't get involved unless I knew the reason why. I don't feel like my I don't feel like my coin purse could have been stolen because my real reaction wouldn't have been to run to them and be like, are you okay?" I would have been like, yo, you cool. Yo, (laughs) yo, you good. Hey, Hey. you good. And then they'd be like, yeah, I'm fine. And I'd be like, right on deuces. (laughs) Peace. (laughs) All right. Did you guys get to the like? Uh, this oh, thing. oh, the lend, lending a friend. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. You lend a friend a considerable amount of money shortly before they left on a month's long adventure. They've now returned and discovered a small fortune while away. How do you att- approach the topic of the debt? Awkward. The debit. Any. Oh, my gosh. We got four options here. So there's no need because a legally binding contract was written up with repayment details. You could insist on prompt repayment while they're still flush with loot. Uh, You could wait until they've had a chance to recover from their trip before bringing it up. Or you could forget about it. They'll just owe you a favor. All right. So for me, it would be the first one. I would have had the contract signed if I expected anything back. Me too. Sounds like Zig. (laughs) Writing up some contracts. Um, Honestly, honestly, yeah. If I wanted something back from them, then I would have made a deal of some kind knowing myself i'd probably wait for real i wouldn't have written. depends on the friend depends on the friend well the details of the contract would probably give some kind of grace period that when they come back you know whatever i mean it would be immediate like upon arrival like they wouldn't be allowed back legally without <laughs> yeah. having paid me for like you got to pay the toll pay the troll toll yeah the, tr- the troll toll <laughs> Um, all right, you've been, you've been tossed in prison for a crime you didn't commit. What would you do next? Uh, wait for the system to discover the error and free you. (laughs) Insist on an appeal and explain the error. Talk your way out using your wits and charisma. 
fight your way out, killing anyone you need in, in order to escape. Um, I'm going to go with talk your way out using wits and charisma. I'm assuming that this mm. isn't like a real, you're right, like like, like modern day U.S. prison. Right. There's none of yeah. those are really options necessarily. Yeah. The appeal mm -hmm. one, like there's sort of there is like a precedent of people appealing and getting out of prison sometimes, but not super common. Mm. Yeah, I feel like I feel like what I would actually do is wait for them to discover the error, but that's stupid. Yeah, probably is stupid. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the same one. Talk, talk your way out. All right, and what are you? What are you up to here? Appeal. Okay. Explain. You're wrong. I didn't do it. <laughs> I didn't do it. Well, you see, the way the legal system works there is that you say what happens, and then they say what happened, and then you're they wrong. decide who's right. <laughs> Dude, then you're probably wrong. You're probably right. After your release, you discover another man has been convicted in your place. You know that without him, his impoverished family will starve. Oh, what on. do you do? Damn. Attempt to prove the man's innocence, even if it means you may be convicted in his place. We are we were already there. I'm good. No double jeopardy. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I would introduce them to the concept of double jeopardy. <laughs> and then I would do. All right. Uh, promise to care for the man's family while he's in prison. Nope. Thank your maker, maker that you avoided the punishment. All right. Probably that or falsify evidence Ooh. to make sure. Only he is ever convicted for this crime. Um, I don't need to do that. I'm just going to thank my maker. Yeah, His family I'd can probably... die. Yeah, I'd probably be out. I, I would... Uh, hmm, promise is a strong word, but I would, I would probably take care of his family. Be nice. Because for all I know, he actually did it. I don't know. Yeah. Wait, hold on a second. Just another dude. Well, he just, well, they just, like, well, yeah, well, he but could have done it. <laughs> it doesn't say that he didn't do it. They That's just, they just say they threw another man. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just right gonna, now. yeah, I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna be like, whatever, man. That guy did it. Sure, whatever. Not my problem. Yeah. All right. Uh, you witness a brutal brawl, mm -hmm. and one of the fighters dies and is carted away. His coin purse was left behind in the commotion and nobody but you seems to have noticed. What do you do? Do you pocket the coins? He won't need them for medical bills. No, he did. Oh, he's dead. Uh, he's dead. Attempt to find the man's family or return the gold to them. Donate the coins to a local charity or temple or leave it. It's not yours. Um, all right. So I'm no, I'm no pile jumper. I don't like, I don't take somebody else's loot. So I think technically <laughs> it belongs to the person who killed Kill him. Them, yeah. I yeah. guess I might bring it to them and be like, hey, this is yours now, I guess. Nah. That's how it works in this game. Nah. <laughs> I would definitely be. I'm not getting involved with someone who just killed another guy. I'm I, like, I, I am not going to take me. I'm not going to take the murder money and donate it to a charity no. or temple. Seems that's wrong. a bad idea. I'm also not going to keep the murder money. I feel like that's a bad idea, too. Um. If I knew who the man's family was, I might just give it to them and be like, hey, he's dead. <clears throat> Happy money. <laughs> uh, hey, he's I dead. Guess. Here's your inheritance. <laughs> yeah. Oh hey, I brought you inheritance today. <laughs> That's Great. all you say? <laughs> yeah. Hey, I've got good news and bad news. <laughs> Here's your inheritance. <laughs> so... <laughs> He's dead, you but he left his money rest. behind. Yeah, you, we one, one sentence, good news and bad news. Perfect. Um, no, I'd leave it, most likely. Um, all right, Carly, what's up next? Are you? Yeah, you've got Are some. we on the same one? You come across a scroll that allows you to cast a spell of an invisibility, invisibility on yourself for one hour. What would you do with cast it? Cast invisibility on myself for an hour? Duh! It just said what it does. We don't need the question. No. <laughs> Obviously, what do you do? You're invisible. Wait, hold oh, on, with the guys. invisibility. Uh -oh. I said that I would find the man's family and return the gold to them, but I have a different. Oh, okay. The story. <laughs> the story goes the on. The story what would you continues do? here. So it's so it, I I discovered that the coins are marked, and were recently stolen, uh, from the keep in a large scale heist. Um. There you go. Do I continue with my plan? The keep won't miss a few coins, and they're going to a worthy cause. Do I reluctantly turn the purse into the authorities or do I keep the purse for myself? 
because you don't want the family to get in trouble for having stolen coins. That's weird. That's a weird one. If I didn't want anybody to get in trouble, I would no, because I feel like if I tried to return them to the authorities, they would be like, you did Where it. did you get the? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. I, I don't want to get involved with that. No. I would give the I would give them to the family, but then I would tell them like, hey, yo, he stole these from this place. I mean, yeah. Do what you want with them, but just keep your head down. <laughs> anyway, okay, now I'm on the safe. Okay, with now the invisibility, uh, would you use your newfound stealth to sneak into the keep and make off with all the gold you can carry? Mm. Use it to pull some choice pranks on your friends. Use it to observe someone you suspect is up to no good. Burn the scroll. Magic is too dangerous. Freaking boring. Choice, choice pranks. pranks. <laughs> <laughs> Duh. Yeah, I'm doing pranks. Me too, actually. Cool. Yeah, that's the most harmless use of it, too, I think. Like, yeah. the other ones are all, like, the first one's a crime. The third one's going to get you into trouble. And the fourth one, what? you don't know what's going to happen when you burn boring. that thing. Yeah. Oh, okay. oh yeah, that too. <sighs> Maybe, on. can you even burn spell scrolls? I don't know. I mean, they disappear when you use them, but like, right. is that the same as burning? Okay. And how do you know what they mm. do before you read them? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> unless, um, unless you're a wizard, in which case, what do you need this scroll for? <laughs> <laughs> you can obviously already cast invisibility. So your friend injures themselves because of your prank and requires oh, hospitalization. God. Uh, yeah, yeah, the most harmless option. Uh, what do you do? Do you confess your guilt and pay their medical bills? Do you confess it was your fault, but insist that you're not responsible for their bills? Or do you never admit your involvement? Uh, I'd pay their medical bills, but I wouldn't tell them. So whatever that option is. Yes, don't tell them. That's the whole point of the prank. Know. That's why I was invisible. It's only a good prank if they never know. <laughs> if I'll they never, never know. I'll never tell. But I'll say, I'll say confess my guilt. Because I guess that's the only option. Nope. <laughs> I think because... Never okay, I've, I've never, never, I've never done a prank that resulted in somebody's injury, but I have accidentally broken something of somebody else's and then told them that it wasn't my problem. <laughs> <laughs> didn't replace it for them. <laughs> I have done that before. Whoops. There is a precedent of me doing that. Um, but I'm going to say that I would pay their medical bills. Yeah. yeah nice of me. I'd hmm? be like, no, I, I don't know what happened to you. <laughs> it's not. Yo, you're in the side. hospital? What, what happened? What? I, don't I hope know. nothing invisible like hurt you by accident. Chew, boy. That would suck. That would be terrible. <laughs> No evidence. Your scroll is gone now. Um, yeah, no that's true. Yeah, it disappears. I'll never, I'll never <laughs> tell. A wizard presents you with a small box. He claims that he'll make you extremely wealthy if you press a button on the box, but that someone somewhere in the world will instantly <laughs> die. Do you hit the button? I would have to ask Classic. first if it's possible that that person would be me. Oh. Uh, because if it, if there's a chance it can be me, then. No, that's not worth the risk regardless. I know how many people there are. But like also the likelihood that a wizard would do this is low too. So like we're we're in that lottery situation. Like we're, like we're already in one in a one in a trillion. So let's not tempt fate further if I'm the one, one of the people who can die. I would also ask if the wizard is one of the people who could die, because then I would hit that button for <laughs> sure. He'd be like, <laughs> like, and I'd be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna hit this Here button comes, so man. many times. I'm gonna keep hitting this button until you die, buddy. <laughs> rapid tap. Um, I can't kill someone. I can uh, injure someone and not pay their so hospital bill. The options but I can't are kill the someone. options are just like nah, or. Yeah, you probably won't oh. know the person who dies. Or, yes, but then donate a portion of your new wealth to charity to clear your conscience. Or, not only will you not put not push the button, but you vow to apprehend the wizard and destroy the box. That's a little bit too intense. I, I honestly, th I mean, this is the, the button question, you know, it's like yeah, a common, classic. common thing. But, <clears throat> nah, dude. Why? Yeah. Why? Why would <sighs> why would I do that? 
Yeah, it's well. Okay, how much money? It's all about money. Extremely, Extremely wealthy. wealthy. Not classified. What they say. So I feel like two hundred copper pieces. <laughs> so so okay. Imagine if they said all the money in the world. I wouldn't want that. What am I gonna do? That doesn't now I have to like fix sense. all the problems yeah, in the no, entire world. A lot of response. Somehow, like yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, if they said like a billion dollars. The GDP of a small country. A small country? Yeah. They, they, I mean, there are probably countries with GDP in the millions. Yeah, that's true, probably. Um, extremely wealthy. Extremely wealthy. Yeah. All right, I guess I'll just, I'll pass, because he's not being exact. Oh, he'll be insistent in the next question. Oh yeah. Oh, now it's now it says he's an evil wizard. Right. Oh, okay. Snap. Yeah, what? the evil wizard insists that he'll kill your entire family if you don't press the button. Oh. And then offers again. What? Do you press it because you don't have a choice? Do you press it and because you don't have a choice but then also give away all of your wealth? Or do you do you John let the Wick. wizard John do you Wick. let the wizard John kill Wick. your family John Wick. and then swear revenge? <laughs> That's the one I picked. Yeah, go ahead. Kill my family. Kill my family. I'll, I'll just get revenge yeah, on you. Who's gonna stop me from killing you? Like what what are you gonna do after you kill my family? What have I got left to lose? What do you like who's gonna stop me? That is pretty compelling. That is a John Wick situation. Yeah. Um if he, I mean if that wizard kills Basket. If that wizard kills Basket, all right, like I would have Anna's blessing to raise absolute <laughs> terror on this dude. Yeah. Like there's no there, there's no limit. <laughs> yeah. He, he wouldn't even have to kill Anna. <laughs> <laughs> like it, just Basket. As so, yeah. As soon as Basket's gone, like. You've unleashed the monster, man. <laughs> like, all right, you try it. Um. I'm like kind of switching the way I'm answering these questions because I'm going to say that too because it's the most fun answer. It is the most fun answer, but I'm trying to be me. Though. I'm trying. Yeah, I'm trying to be I'm me, trying. but that is also what that, I would probably yeah. say to him because I hate when someone tells me what to do. I hate mm, it. This is true. So much. I hate it so, so much. So much. Do you too? No. Oh. <laughs> I was just mocking you because I, oh. I knew your answer. I, uh, <laughs> Thanks. Sorry. I actually think <laughs> Sorry, that. Sorry, host. Because I've I've done I've done stuff like that before yeah. where somebody gave me an ultimatum. If somebody gives me an ultimatum, I always pick the worst of the two options, and then I'm like, "There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Do your worst. Do your I... worst to me." <laughs> yeah, I can see you saying that too. Yeah. Um, all right. You track the wizard to his lair. After observing him in secret, you discover that until recently he was a good gentleman. Well, it says gentleman, but I like gentleman better. Who is who has been possessed by a demon? How do you handle the situation? Uh, destroy him before he can cause more death and destruction by like handing people a box. All right. Um, subdue him and turn him over to the clerics who may be able to purge the demonic presence. Convince the demon to use you as a vessel instead. Whoa. Imagine the power you'll have. Wow. Uh Mm. No, because I hate when people tell me what to do. So screw that demon. Um, I'd probably turn him over to the clerics, I guess. That me too. Right to That's me. what I was thinking too. Subdue and, and rid, rid him of the demon. Yeah. Alas. <laughs> You've lived a full long life and will soon join your forefathers in the great beyond. Which should be inscribed on your monument dedicated to your life? Were you feared by enemies, even in death? Were you a gentle soul who changed the world? Or Rip. does it just say rest in peace? Pieces. <laughs> Rip and pepperoni, my bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. R.I.P. in pieces. Um, I'm not that cool for you, the first two. I'm just not. Yeah. Rip. I will. I don't know if I'd say my soul is gentle. Mm, I just yeah. don't know. Yeah. Am I feared by enemies, though? I don't think so. Let me say rest in peace. I guess so. Ooh, I got my alignment. Oh, me so too. I. Okay. Austin. All right. Chaotic good. Okay. 
A true neutral. <laughs> true neutral. 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 You got thank true you, neutral. Thank you for that correction. Neutral, neutral. Chaotic good, <laughs> as I, well. Did we have all this? No, we didn't even no, have. No, we didn't have all the same answers. We were. Close. We were it was close though. All right, now that we have our alignments, we can do the next quiz. <laughs> Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. So, so listen. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Can I talk about my problem with true neutral? Sure. Yes. Just real quick. Yeah. It's please. dumb. Why does only that one have a special name? Neutral neutral's better. Neutral. I know some people are probably like, "All right, it sounds dumb when you say neutral twice," but to those people, bye bye. Like, <laughs> see you later. Bye bye. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> it's the same thing the twice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. You can say the same thing twice and it means a different thing. I see, I see. That's, shabu, that's shabu. Spanish. Shabu, shabu. <laughs> All right, anyway. I don't anyway. know why that was the first thing that popped in my head. Dude, I could go for some shabu, shabu right that's now. Good stuff. Um, I literally don't know what that is. Shabu, shabu? How do you describe shabu, shabu? It's like um, fried okay. and fried pork I, or, or whatever meat and oil. Well, I, I, like, like, I yeah. like it. I it's like it. It's good. Yeah. Uh, you said fried and i was like i'm there yo yeah <laughs> I, I think i've made it by like dipping the um meat and then putting it on a uh like a wire rack griddle oh on a griddle yeah well no actually it's a grill pan it has like grill ridges um and that turns out well it does get a lot of um oil everywhere because when you cook with oil that's how it be that's how it be um all right i'm checking to see if the second quiz is shorter by a significant amount yeah, that was a long that one. Was a long that one. was longer right, than you, I was expecting. Like? Yeah. Okay, that's way shorter. Short. Is it way shorter? Yeah. Okay. Unless it start, unless it does well. the same thing as the other one. It's a lot more options for the question. All right. So, what D and D class should you choose? I mean, I'd probably pick like woodshop or something. Woodshop. Oh, which class? Yeah. Acrobat. All right. So anyway, um, what's your alignment? That's the first question. That's why we had to know. So I guess Oops. my alignment is chaotic good. Chaotic good. Okay. What's my race? Ooh. What? You can't just. I know. Yeah. All right. That's, I that's guess it makes it hard. Oh well. Okay. Wait, is I human mean... not an an... human's so just... not an answer? It's not. You just have to pick your favorite. Is this just like your favorite race? Ooh, I guess so. I'm it's gonna tough. go with. No, tiefling. I guess it would be more. Like... Yeah. Human is an option. What are you talking about? What? Oh, there it Left is. Left yeah, in the okay. middle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm a human. Where? Left, left middle. Oh shoot! <laughs> he looked at least like a human. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say tiefling actually. Uh, I like tiefling. Uh, what's your backstory? Oh. You've never trusted society, but now you've been thrust into a position of power. All right. Uh, you regret not telling the love of your life how you felt, and now you strive to find them. That one's mine. You've got a question, and you've searched your whole. Don't tell Anna I said that. <laughs> you've, you've got a question, and you've searched your whole life for the answer. That one might actually be mine. You are sworn to fight for people who cannot fight for themselves. Nope. A possession you cherished was stolen from you. You're aiming to steal it back. Nope. Your honor comes before anything else. You'd die defending it. All right. I got a question. Ah, uh, Zuko. Ah, uh, <laughs> Zuko. Ah, uh, Zuko. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go with uh, sworn to fight for people who cannot fight for themselves. I like that. I guess that's kind of mine, too, I suppose. I like that one a lot. Which fantasy hero inspires, uh, uh, most inspires you? Frodo, Harry Potter, The, the Princess Prin Bride. That's not her name. Jon okay. Snow. <laughs> no, it's not her name. Lucy Pevensey uh, or Hiccup. Who the heck is Lucy Pevensey? What is, who's that? Shoot. What is she from? Um, I do not recognize uh, her at all. Uh, Chronicles of Narnia. <clears throat> oh. oh, you know what? Oh, she's she from, like I only read the, the, the first one. <laughs> Is she in the first yeah, one? Uh, is that the first one? Which order oh, did you read them in? The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe is the first one I read. Um, she's in that one. Okay, yeah. Yeah, she's in that one. Oh, is she? I don't remember if those she's books she's in any all. of them. Don't I read one-eighth of the book after that and never read any of the other Anyway, ones. Hiccup is one. mine, so we're good. I'm going to say Jon Snow. Harry Potter. <laughs> we're going to get some different stuff here then. Um, all right. If you could snap your fingers... Do you like that Foley, Foley work? <laughs> yeah. Uh, right. And make anything appear, what would it be? A pile of gold, a litter of adorable kittens, a whole keg of ale. ale. A group of scantily clad men or women who just want to please you. So, <laughs> so, 
some goddamn peace and quiet <laughs> or more food than one person should eat. I love the idea of snapping your fingers and and getting peace and quiet. <laughs> it's like, oh, that's oh, dude, that's like that's Thanos right there. That's Thanos <laughs> right there. <laughs> um, all right. So, so yeah, is a group this of scantily every, clad. No, no, women, I need to clarify. Women, is this every time I snap my fingers? <laughs> Money, money, money. Like, like if if I need baskets to do something, <laughs> jazz festival. Yeah. Oops, and I'm I like, oh, 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 oh. There's just cats yeah, everywhere. But even is it at will, or so does this happen one time? Um, oh. it doesn't clarify. It does not clarify. That's the problem. So what do you want? Right oh, now? you're what? right. Do, do I gotta save it <laughs> for the moment? The well, okay. So because if it was any time, I could uh, any time. Um, I would probably pick the more food than one person should eat thing because then like i'm good i'm off the grid like i'm a fit <laughs> i officially don't need any any of any of you i don't need any <laughs> of them i don't need money i don't need anything because i can just eat whenever i need to and that's pretty much all i need to do i mean i have to go to the bathroom but like that just happens <laughs> did you know that people just do that what people just do that yeah now the whole keg of ale could actually work for that too except that it's also poisonous yes and so like literal poison. you'd have you'd be walking a fine line there was on. not really you'd just die but the women just want to please you so matthew oh they, they you, could have they, food <laughs> yeah exactly oh, that's yeah. what i'm saying no but then but then i'm stuck like like housing a bunch of <laughs> housing a bunch now of scantily clad women for all these people on the winter yeah you could you have to have a house exactly so like i want to be able to just like go okay. out there in the middle of the arizona desert and just be like i'm good really? i got so, i got so much i can't even eat all this i can use it for shade <laughs> <laughs> i'm going to build a little shelter out of all this steak food hut <laughs> Okay, Je what's gonna like a Gila monster is gonna come up and be like, "Hey, I appreciate this. Spo Thank you." Spo spoilers and I'll be like, "You're welcome." That would be. You guys meet a guy who has this power. <laughs> I can't and wait. It's in His a name meat better track. be Austin. Uh, Austin. All right. So if it's any time that, like, if it's one time, I think I'd pick the pile of gold, Duh. assuming it's a big enough pile to like That's make a dent. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm assuming. Is it, that it's once. Yeah. But if it's not, I pick the women. So. What? I mean, I've already We're moved already on. <laughs> Does it just create people? <laughs> yeah. Does it just create like people, yeah. people These... do that on a regular basis anyway? What? But I've created life. All right. So if it's all the they want to do is please thing. you, that's fine. Yeah. But like, what are they then? What do you mean? What? It, like, okay. Scantily clad. What do they? What? What women. do they think? What do they oh. do? Like when they're not? They're pleasing. yonder. <laughs> There's only one way to find out. That's what they are. Okay. Um <laughs> I mean maybe they have aspirations of their own, but also they're yandere. So like everything takes a back seat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh yeah. God. I like scantily clad women to some extent. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I need them around me very much. Uh a pile of gold? Would be very useful sometimes. I'm gonna go with the pile of gold. That's fine, dude. Okay, so if you had to fight someone, uh, how would you go about it? <laughs> what? Oh, wow. Fun. This is. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, ooh. Cower. Two good options. There are two good options. Okay, cower. Mm -hmm. Throw throw up a, a punch that misses. Talk your way out of it. Run away. Torrent of fists and kicks. That's fine. Reach for the nearest thing to use as a torrent. weapon, and Fist. pummel them. Mm -hmm. I would do that last one probably, because it says you have to fight them. Yeah. So so reality. talking your way out of it and running away and curling up, th those aren't options. Those aren't options. They already said that. They already said that you have to fight so them. So I can either punch and kick them a bunch. Well, I guess if this was actually me, yeah, I would punch and kick them a bunch because that's on how I feel. It's better than. Well, yeah, I guess what well, using a weapon is pretty much always better than not using a weapon in real life. I'm going to I'm going to disagree on that. OK. Uh, I'm Because here's what here's my perspective. OK. If the other person is bigger than you. Yes. And the weapon does not give you a significant range advantage. Mm. Um, 
it is unlikely that you're going to be like if you couldn't beat them without the weapon it's unlikely you're going to do enough more damage with it that's true that they won't still take it and use it and if they can overpower you it's theirs like you might as well have just handed it to them although don't do that but like yeah maybe also don't let it come into the fray i'm glad i didn't click on my answer yet because you're making a compelling uh compelling argument here yeah now i i do feel Mm -hmm. like like if i think that somebody's broken into my house Mm -hmm. i actually do go and grab weapons sure because i think it like i don't know how many people there are stuff like that you know if 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 there's people like here um so i'd want to deal with them very quickly if i know i'm fighting one person i'm gonna just punch and kick them yeah most likely all right that's what i said yeah all right, what's next, Carly? If you were a druid, what would your wild form be? Brown oh, bear, wolf, owl, snake, deer, wart, hog. A wartug? Wart-ug. Yeah, warthog. Warthog, oh, sorry. Uh, I'm not listening to any logic, and I'm going to say wolf. I, Just for so, funsies? I like wolves. Wolves are cool. Yeah. Their urine can be used to keep critters out of your yard. In particular, wolves. Yeah. <laughs> well, I know it works on other... It works on other animals, too, but yeah. it definitely works on wolves. Yeah. They're very territorial. Yeah. Um, owls can fly, That's though. That's why I picked it. I owls picked can it. fly. They can see in the dark. Their heads are, like, real yeah, movie. Pretty cool. Whatever, man. Wolf. But, dude, warthogs... Bear, warthogs are going to screw you up. And you yeah. don't expect it. That's like, a, a brown bear? People see that, and they're like... No way. They're like, oh, nope. But a warthog, they're like, oh, you seem <laughs> like a, you're like almost a pig, right? And then you <laughs> charge them down at 40 miles an hour and they're like, that's not a pig. <laughs> well, I mean, they don't that's have time no to say pig. it, but don't. So isn't warthog. it, isn't it true that like if a pig escapes captivity into the wild, they start to turn feral immediately and one generation of their children is already back to being yes. a boar yeah yeah it's it's That's already it's pretty it's something like that yeah, yeah. like I, like the next generation has all the fur like the yeah the, the first one just is still pigs the next one right. has the fur and the tusks right like it's it's crazy in the wild. um yeah and they take over because they they're smart mm-hmm. like smarter than a lot of other captive animals so they like escape they, right they just like they're like oh i'm not doing no i'm not i'm not digging any, don't look behind that poster. I'm not digging anything. I'm not. <laughs> oh man, it's, they're they're pulling a Shawshank Redemption. They, yeah. They've got the yeah. chisel and the. <laughs> and then they'll just take over all sorts of like habitats and stuff, just because like nothing can beat a bunch of boars, <laughs> including humans who get messed up by them on the regular. Um, they're they're like the most dangerous animal out in the wild in the United States, I think. And there are wild tigers here sometimes yeah like mountain lions and stuff yeah no i mean regular tigers that escape from te- captivity and stuff and then we like never te- find them. texas has more tigers than shoot what's the other thing that they have less of i don't know they have a, there's like a bunch of them they have more tigers than more bengal tigers than wherever bengal tigers are from there are more wild ones in texas apparently <laughs> then, then in that seems like a crazy fact so it's probably hopefully it's not true oh, god i don't want to go to texas and get That's eaten a, by a bengal tiger. texas is pretty big and wherever texas is huge. wherever bengal tigers come from might not be as big no <laughs> wherever they do come from uh anyway that's I'm, nuts that's to think about. all why i'm gonna say deer i'm uh, joking <laughs> i picked warthog warthog for you no, ow. a massive bloodthirsty bat swoops towards you you reach for the weapon on your belt. What do you grab? Um, all right. What, what weapon would I have out of these? My mighty great sword, two daggers dripping with poison, something clobbery like a mace. My tome of offensive magic spells, my trusty you short bow or my loot. This occasion calls for some music. Um, hmm. So like real me can't do magic, but if he could, but, but if, if magic was an option, that's what I would pick. Same. I guess real me can't do it though. So I'll just go with great sword. I was also going to say great sword. Yeah. Cause out of, 
those, that's maybe the most likely one that I could do damage with. Carly Although on a bat, magic. I wouldn't. Please. Carly can do magic. We all know it. Well, yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, well. It depends on how you interpret it, too. Because <laughs> if it's like, what would you do? Then yeah, okay, magic. But if it's like, what are like, what does the real you do? I guess it. You know, it, no, it's just it. Just you can pick. <laughs> All right. Uh, hmm. So, which of these character flaws will be your undoing? Uh oh. Oh no! I accidentally clicked on one. Oh, I think you can go back. You can go back. It's okay. In this up. one, you can go back. The last oh, good. One you couldn't. Okay, so you rely too heavily on your faith. Got that Jesus phase. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, you can't get enough drink, drug, or other intoxicants. Ooh. The easy answer is never good enough for you. Uh, you keep secrets too well, and you don't share them with anyone. If you had to choose between gold and relationships, you'd always choose the gold. Or you are a coward who turns and runs at the first sign of a conflict. This one's so easy. The easy answer is never good enough for me. That's the one I accidentally clicked on. <laughs> and I think that I might stick with it. You found what you just started. Yeah, I see what my class is. I really this is it. This is it, Carly. This I'm decides excited. everything. I'm trying, I'm trying. Uh, I Ooh, I can like... see what my class is too. What'd you pick? Did you get the same one as me? Well, I I stuck with the one I accidentally clicked on. Okay. It, the easy answer is never good enough for you. It's probably the same as yours. Yeah, probably. <laughs> All right. What are you? I'm a lizard. Oh my god, she's redeemed. No uh, more sorcerer. Uh, oh, <laughs> what's wrong with sorcerer? We've been over this. Yeah. Do you want? But do you I'm want to fight wizard. about it on the show though? I get, mm -hmm. Nothing's wrong with sorcerers. I like sorcerers. I like everybody. We know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Austin? What did I get? Yeah. 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 I got monk. Sick. Oh snap! That That's awesome. different. Oh really? Yeah. It is. Okay. Oh, what'd you get? Yeah. I got paladin. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We'd be like a whole party. Yeah, I know. Well, yeah, this is yeah. Awesome. I'm into it. This is cool. Wait a minute. Did you both pick the sword? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so it wasn't. Oh wait, that doesn't make sense. You're a monk anyway. Yeah. I'm so okay. Cause I no, because I picked wolf, and also I picked ward. I picked warthog. Four. Yeah, or even warthog. Yeah. Oh, and I picked the scantily clad women. That's weird for a paladin. <laughs> <laughs> I picked a pile of gold. That's weird for a monk. Oh, I also picked John John Snow. <laughs> I picked Hiccup. Uh, that might be the deciding factor there. <laughs> that might. Oh my god! Although Hiccup John picked Snow, Harry Potter. John Snow is kind of a oh, paladin. Wizard. Well, H Hiccup is a that's what's the real that? Question. He's an artificer, kind of. Uh, yeah, yeah, kind yeah, of yeah, yeah. He may, he's an engineer type. He's either yeah. an artificer or whatever one rides animals. I don't know what class would do um, that. Ranger. Oh, John Ranger. Snow. Ranger. John Snow is kind of a paladin thing. Yeah. To call him that talking about Hiccup, might no, almost no, okay. be a spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> not really Don't. but almost oh my gosh i was really close to this wire and the ant is right there sorry whoa it, it's up on the yeah okay. oh it's man not hey, you're not it's... allowed up there oh uh, uh. uh, well there uh, he goes special guest special guest not ant. Me. it's the ant it's the ant that's what everyone's actually <laughs> wanting that's what they wanted that'll that'll work for the thumbnail <laughs> All right, you got any homebrew for us to take it home? Oh, you take me home. Better believe I Give me do. That brew. I know. Me home I, road. I, I know you're gonna like this one. You love stuff like this. This is, comes to us by user Catalyst. Mm -hmm. Catalyst. Ah, yeah. oh, welcome back to the show, my dude. Catalyst. Yeah. Uh so these, this magic item, is uh a pair of goggles. All right. We're uh, off to a bad start. They are goggles of day. What? All right. Uh, so I just don't like wearing goggles. I don't like no glasses. glasses and stuff. I mean, I might have to. I'll figure something. Right, we'll, we'll be all right. I think he's trying to he's talk smack something. on us right now. <laughs> no, I don't. I just don't like wearing them personally. Oh, okay. They are kind of annoying. They are annoying. I normally wear contacts, but I haven't been for a while. I just like... Because the only reason I would wear them is for sunglasses, but I, I just go out and go like this. Squint. Yeah. Oh, I might be getting like vision insurance soon. Maybe I can actually afford contacts <laughs> when I do. I, I do have it, but I don't think I, I want to get um non-prescription lenses with UV filtering because I'm concerned about the health of my eyes over the years as they're exposed to UV light while I walk the dog for hours at a time. 
So uh, <laughs> that's fair. I want to get that, but I don't know if I'm allowed to with my insurance. It might only be like literally if I need a prescription. So like there's no it. point in me having it. But well, I guess anyway. that's what insurance is. <laughs> uh, so these goggles enable creatures of the deep to walk under the sun without fear. So while wearing these goggles, you suffer none of the negative effects of sunlight sensitivity, such as like drow. Yeah. And such I've been creatures. reading a book about a drow. You what? Yeah, I'm reading what? one of the um a book about a drow. Drizzed books. Um Oh, Drizzly, by... where you can get yeah. alcohol uh delivered to your door. What? <laughs> is that our sponsor today? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, was, this episode is sponsored by Drizzly. Uh go ahead and get your you can't do that in Pennsylvania. But there are some states that you can. Can we do the wine things though? Like where, where they I think so. wine? Yes. Mm. I think you can get wine delivered, but you can't get uh, it's so inconsistent i don't get it 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 literally it is sense. it's it's about what it's classified as like legally because i think wine can't be over a certain alcohol percentage is weed a alcohol yes oh, that explains it um so it does a couple other things too though okay uh ch -ch -ch. So while wearing the goggles of day, your dark vision trait is suppressed and you have normal vision. Uh, and also they protect your eyes from effects that would blind you. So while wearing the goggles, you have advantage against any effect that would inflict blindness, the blindness condition on you. That's it. So they're like a welding like visor. Well, because they have like those night vision goggles, right? Dark yeah, vision yeah, goggles, yeah. like for people. I, it's, it's it makes so much sense. Yep. Just It's just that little bit of parody that like brings it all. Yeah. Together. Yeah. 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 Because otherwise, your drow could would never be able to function above ground. Yep. They'd just like have a constant headache. <laughs> They'd just be like stumbling around blindly. They'd I, be. Yeah. I have really another like one. Character to be just wearing sunglasses the whole time. All the time. <laughs> wear these sunglasses at night. Well, they wouldn't have to, but they should. I wear my sunglasses at night. So, uh, I have another one from user A. A. Brock. Ooh. What is that? Wait, how is it? Is it B. R. O. C. K. Yep. It's all, there are no spaces. All one, oh. all one thing. But A. Ah, Brock. A. Ah, Brock. But yeah. is it, wait, how, wait, why'd you say it A. A. To Let emphasize in... how it's spelled. <laughs> oh, how? What? Because it's spelled A. A. It's like A. A. Ron. Yeah. A. A. Brock. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So is it not Abrock? How do they say their name? I don't know. Abrock. <laughs> Tell me in the comments below, how do you say your name? Just spell out how you say it. Phonetically, yeah. Spell it, spell it out. Wait yeah. It. Spell it out for me how you say it. Do you think he has like a partner in crime that's named Adabra? <laughs> All right, let's go. So he has a third level divination spell called Vibe Check. <laughs> I love it. The uh, verbal component, you have to yell Vibe Check as loud as you can. Good. While you cast it. The range is touch. Uh, so you strike the target of the spell with a melee spell attack. <laughs> okay. Uh, if the attack hits the target... They take 5d4 bludgeoning damage. Um, and if the attack is directed at a creature who is surprised, meaning you attack them and they weren't expecting it, uh, then it instead deals 5d8 bludgeoning damage on a hit. Additionally, on a hit, you learn the target's current mood. <laughs> Heck yeah. Presumably angry that you just hit them in the head. <laughs> um, as well as their surface thoughts. Uh, if the target made a statement the round before the spell was cast, the caster has advantage on an insight check to determine the truth of the statement. Yes. Oh, my God. I love everything about that. <laughs> uh, oh, that, that last bit, though. That's so good. Yeah. Because you can use that out of combat. You could. Right. And it's going to surprise him every time. Yeah. yeah. And you're going to accidentally kill so many people. But <laughs> Vibe check. Vibe check. <laughs> Vibe check. <laughs> Oh my god! The uh, 
the the, uh, the image that's associated with that mm-hmm. is pretty great too. All right, guys, you're gonna have to check this one out. Oh, oh my he's god, touching a bear. <laughs> vibe check of a bear. Yeah, he's vibe checking the bear. Oh my gosh. I wonder how it feels about that. I'm sure the bear we'll doesn't out. doesn't really like we it very much. Out. But vibe check. Vibe check. That's a good thing in D&D. Like, just taking a regular thing like that and being like, all right, how can we make this dumb? <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that, too. Yeah. How can we make this practically unusable in a practical scenario? What? That's not practically unusable. That's a good spell. Well, it's a good spell, sure. I think it's fun. Yeah. Would I mean, Liam use that in, co- <laughs> in in the campaign? Would you? Oh, he would? Would he? It seems, it seems useful. Seems useful. Yeah. yeah. Like I would have used that on on Citra at some point, probably. I know Saren would use it. Yeah. <laughs> and absolutely Dissol would use it. Yeah. Oh my god, 110%. All would freaking love this. So. Except I don't know. Wait. Could, do, wait. Yeah. He yeah. Could, if, he, if he got him with a hex and then snuck up and vibe checked him, that would do a lot of damage. Does it say. So you have to be sneaking. Is that what it is? I'm sorry. No, you just have to surprise them. They just have to like not see it Be coming. Surprised. Like like if you already rolled initiative, it's too late. Okay. I get it. No, surprise understand. surprise is like an actual like condition of combat in mm-hmm. D D. So I got it. Um you get a, you, you basically you get a surprise round if they weren't expecting a a combat situation. But a hex doesn't necessarily trigger a combat situation, right? Like, do they? Do, does somebody feel it when you hex them? Yes, they, they are. They are aware that you've hexed them when you do it. Yeah. Do, does something in their head go? You've been hexed. <laughs> I think does, it's more it like say, a... we've hacked your computer. <laughs> um, <laughs> you yeah. must pay two hundred dollars. Yeah, um, yeah, um, well, yeah. Well, well, specifically when Dissel hexes somebody, that's what they hear in their head. They hear, "I'm in." Jeez. Along with like, <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> I'm glad this isn't connected to anything. <laughs> yeah. I can turn this one off and then we can both do it. Ready? Yeah. All right. I'm in. <laughs> 